Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and I have been eating a meat only carnivore diet for four years. In this video, I wanna show you what our family eats on a typical weekend. Today is Friday, so it's a little bit of a still during the week, uh, moving into Saturday and Sunday. I do a lot of videos that show more like quick weeknight meals, budget friendly options. This video is really just like what our typical weekend looks like, what kind of fun meats we cook up on the weekends when we have more time. Uh, and just how we incorporate variety into our life currently. I hope this video just gives you some ideas or maybe a new recipe or a way that you could incorporate eating less carbs in your everyday life. For my lunch today, I am going to have some pork belly. Chris and I are gonna split this kind of like decent sized piece of pork belly and then I'm going to cook up some ground bison. I've never had bison before, so I'm not really sure like what that flavor is gonna be like. I'm just gonna try to cook it plain at first and then maybe I'll add some cheese to it or some taco seasoning, sour cream, like we'll kind of see how the flavor ends up being. Uh, and then I'm going to use the air fryer to cook up the pork belly and Chris and I are gonna end up splitting that. I think Chris is gonna grill himself some steaks. If this was a what I eat video about Chris, you would just see him like grilling steaks for himself. He did, he's a stay at home dad. Uh, and so he just takes time every day to like grill himself some steaks for lunch. Uh, it depends on like what's going on for us or my schedule varies a lot more on what I'm eating. I have a bowl of the ground bison. Uh, it actually tasted fine on its own. I was expecting it to be gamey and it wasn't. Chris thinks it tastes the same as ground beef. I think it does taste a little different, but it was great. It was just so lean that I didn't need to drain it at all. Um, so mainly just to kind of get some more fat in it, I added a little butter to it. I added some carne asada seasoning, and then I'll put a little cheese and sour cream on it. I don't have any pork rinds right now to make little scoops out of it, um, but that will be good. And then, let's see if I can do this without burning myself. Pork belly from the air fryer. Uh, I cut these into little thicker strips. If they're too thin, then it's gonna really overcook the pork before they get crispy. So almost the thicker, the better. And then this took about 20 minutes um, and it will still be, let's see if it's too hot to try. Yeah. A good crisp on the outside, but it's still like, mm, nice and chewy on the inside. Perfect. You wanna tell them what you have? Hang on, you. Okay. What's for your lunch? I am having a New York strip steak <laughs> and a burger patty with some cheese on it. And I'm stealing some of the pork belly. Yeah, this is like you eat this every day. There we go. That's probably Chris's typical like eat a couple steaks, eat a piece of steak and a chicken. He's throwing in a burger patty today just because. Uh, he knows like about how much volume of food he needs to eat in a day um, And between the pork belly and the steak it just wasn't enough so he threw a burger patty on it Our kids eat lunch at school Monday to Thursday And so if I'm not traveling usually Chris gets lunch ready and I find a break in my day where I can come out and sit And this is our typical lunch on a weekday. Happy Friday Then I go back to work and Chris cleans up all my mess for me Right, babe? Thanks, babe. I will never be somebody who can cook pretty eggs. My eggs never look good, but they always taste good. I'm just doing eggs and bacon for dinner. I mean, you're not gonna eat all that. <laughs> uh, the kids had some meatballs, some bacon. They'll probably end up eating some cheese um, or a little, some nuts or something when they're finished. Chris is filming and cleaning. Our Friday night dinners especially, Nathaniel's usually distracted. Penelope's walking around somewhere and uh, they had eggs for breakfast on Fridays and so they didn't need, they didn't want eggs again for dinner, but something quick and easy. Ready? Ready. A typical Saturday for us can look pretty different depending on tournaments. We got jujitsu tournaments sometimes, and then we also have a lot of friends over on Saturdays, right? And we grill, we do like, we do a lot of entertaining on Saturdays um, where we invite a couple families over and we grill a whole bunch of stuff. We have nothing going on today, which is why we're making this video. And so I actually like what we're cooking today um, is something that we make when we entertain for a crowd a lot. I have a picanha, which, 
is Penelope's favorite. And um, we are going to cube this up and turn it into garlic beef skewers. Um, and then we're gonna do some pork skewers and some wings and just fill the grill and we're all just gonna uh, have that for lunch. You could use New York strips. You could use tri-tip, um, really any meat that's not gonna be too tough. You don't wanna use a bottom sirloin. You don't wanna use like something that's gonna be really tough cause it's just not gonna be edible. Ideally, you'd leave some fat on it like this, but it's not required. Uh, it's just gonna make it a lot more delicious that way. You don't wanna be on it? No. Okay, this is where I don't have like professional equipment for all this. We use my cell phone and I don't know how to like do all the angles, but we need garlic. Can you get the garlic out of the fridge? Um, we're gonna cube this up into like one and a quarter inch by two inch cubes so that every little skewer um, is gonna have a piece of fat on the end of it. And we're gonna mix it with some minced garlic. I'm, uh, we go through a lot of garlic because this has been a new obsession in our house. And you can use quite a bit of garlic because a lot of it is gonna be left in the bag um, and then some is gonna be left on the grill. You, we're gonna grill these. You could do it in an air fryer, I suppose, but you don't wanna use garlic on cast iron um, or any kind of skillet. It's just gonna give you like a really burnt garlic flavor. Um, and then depending on your situation with oils, you could put some oil in here or some bacon grease. Uh, I'm fine using olive oil occasionally. We st stay away from other kinds of like bad seed oils, but olive oil occasionally before meat goes on the grill is not an issue for us, right? While we wait for it to marinate, we eat cold bacon. Uh, the third thing we're eating is chicken wings. These have been sitting um, on a cooling rack in the fridge for a couple of hours, just getting nice and dry so that skin is going to be really good and crispy. Um, I'm going to season them with the hardcore carnivore meat chilada seasoning, which is like so perfectly spicy. It has like a lime in it. I love this seasoning. Um, when I was in like rapid, aggressive, trying to lose a hundred pounds weight loss, I was a lot more strict with seasoning blends. And now I just watch like this has one carb per serving. So I'm fine using something, um, that's not like, you know what I'm saying? The more weight you're trying to lose, the more strict you should be with certain things like spices. Right now I'm just... Living my life, trying to not gain 100 pounds back. <laughs> so my spices, I'm not really being that picky with. Wings, and we're gonna skewer up the beef and the pork. What happened to your face? I got my face smashed in open mat this morning. <laughs> Yeah, you can light the grill. I might have gone a little, a little overboard on the garlic. We might have to uh, wipe a little bit of this off. Huh? Taco meat, silly. What's the temperature? Dear, I thank you for this day and thank you for the time that we can spend together and help us have a wonderful weekend and bless this food. Amen. Amen.
Do you want to tell me what you're having for lunch? Um, I'm having a Jimmy bar. Yeah? Some taco meat and chips. Uh, I think it's a keto bar, not a Jimmy bar. <laughs> Uh, but it says Jimmy. Yeah. Peas, garlic steak, and chips. All right, Chris, what are you going to have? Some garlic picanha, some Parmesan pork, and some wings. And I am having the same of wings, Parmesan pork, and garlic steak. Okay, here's the magic of that picanha. You have the top sirloin steak, but then there's that good old fat cap on top, and then all the garlic. <laughs> After the feast we had for lunch, Chris and I definitely are just having one meal today. Um, and we ended up not eating lunch until almost 2 o'clock, so the kids really don't need a full dinner. They're in the pool now, and then um, we'll probably just give them, like, a small-ish snack for their dinner. Uh, and then they'll eat breakfast. So the kids eat three meals a day, but on a day like today when they eat so much for lunch, they'll just have, like, a small snack kind of for dinner. It is Sunday, and that is like the one day of the week that we go all out with having a big family feast. Uh, we usually throw something in a smoker before church or come home and grill some fancier steaks. My oven's ready because we are going to try pork ribs today for the first time. Um, I haven't never made these at home. I get them out a lot, uh, but we are going to try to see how this goes. I'm not going to show you the whole process just because I really don't know how it's going to turn out. Give me any tips or recipes you have in the comments below. And if these turn out good, I will um, make another video about it. They're just so affordable. We should be doing them more often. So we're going to do them in the oven and then finish them on the grill. We always uh, make fancier steaks of some kind on Sundays. It's kind of the day that we splurge. And so we're having some better fed beef. I'm going to have this gorgeous ribeye and Chris is going to have this New York strip from them. Uh, and then pretty much every Sunday we have bread cheese. Chris and I can split like a whole brick of this ourselves and now that the kids eat it so well, um, I usually end up having to make two. This is the type of grilled cheese that they have at Fogo de Chao where they drizzle the honey all over the top of it. Um, we always get it without the honey, but Nathaniel will probably dip his in a little honey today. Uh, I fry it in a skillet with some butter, but you can just put it in the air fryer or something. It's just such a rich, creamy cheese. That's all it is is cheese. Um, and it makes for the perfect treat for Sundays or dessert. Um, we're gonna do a garlic version today. They have a bacon one, an Italian one, um, and I'll link the brand down below. But sometimes I, there's a different brand I can find at the local grocery store, but this one has shipping and it's really the same price even after shipping um, as the one in the grocery store. I definitely eat one meal a day on Sundays because we do such a big feast. And then depending on where I'm at with my goals, I will um, do a 48 hour fast after that. So Sunday at lunch, then I will take a break until Tuesday at lunch. I'm not doing that every week anymore like I was previously. It's more like once or twice a month at this point. Anyway, for the sake of time and not figuring everything out yet, I'm just gonna take you to the final product uh, and you'll see what our typical Sunday feast looks like. Overall, I was really pleased with the texture and the cook of the ribs, but there just wasn't enough flavor for me. Next time, I'm going to try marinating them, and hopefully that will help enhance the flavor. Sundays overall are definitely my favorite day of the week. We really go all out when it comes to our food. We kind of love this big family experience where Chris and I can cook together, and we all just hang out and enjoy a beautiful meal and some family time. That is gonna be a wrap on what I ate for the weekend. I certainly won't be needing dinner after a big meal like that. We'll wait and see how I feel tomorrow before I decide if I'm going to continue fasting or if I wait and eat for lunch tomorrow. Overall, I hope this video was helpful and you picked up some tips and tricks uh, or some meal ideas that you can incorporate into your life. For more content, you can check out my podcast that I have with Nutrition with Judy, Cutting Against the Grain. And you can come join me on Locals if you're looking for some community or some support. Thanks, guys.